Woxnail Digital FPV just got better. Much better. Woxnail just released new FPV goggles. They are called the Woxnail Avatar Goggles X and they might be the best digital goggles on the market. And when I say those might be the best FPV goggles on the market, or rather digital FPV goggles on the market, I mean it. More on the topic later in the video. For now, let me show you what goes where with the Avatar Goggles X. Those are the new Woxnail goggles and they come in the box. Comparing to the previous generation, the box is bigger because now the goggles fit inside even when the antennas are installed. And trust me when I say that, this is one of the biggest improvements. A box you can use without removing the antennas. Saves you at least a few minutes every time you go flying. The most distinctive change comparing to the previous generation of the goggles is that right now all the four antennas are installed in the front in the very similar way to how the DJI FPV goggles and V2s were doing. We no longer have a case when some antennas are over here on the top, some in the front, everything is somewhere over here. And also if you ask me, the goggles are slightly smaller and they look better. Of course look is not everything, it's equally important how all the features and all the functions are available on the goggles. Right now all the major functions of the goggles are located on the right side. Over here you get the joystick, two buttons and the bind button. But on the bottom side you get HDMI input, HDMI output, analog input, super important, so now you can connect external analog receivers as well as external digital receivers, for example HD0 and the SD card slot. I just love the fact that they move the SD card slot from here, which is never a good idea, into the easily accessible bottom side of the goggles. Where previously we had the SD card slot, right now we have the sensors if the goggles are on. That means the goggles will shut down the LCDs when you are not wearing those. And of course IPD and diopter adjustment knobs on the bottom side. When talking about the antenna, the new antennas are the huge step forward comparing what were shipped with the previous generation. Like before they are removable and you can upgrade them to anything you want, but you do have to remember if you want to install the new antenna you have to remove the washer. The faceplate is easily removable. And if we remove the faceplate, we have the access to two screws. Let me show you what happens when I remove them. Now with some fiddling, and believe me, it's not the easiest process ever, I can get access to this compartment. And over here is the heart of the goggles, the Woxnail Digital Receiver Module, or rather the current generation Woxnail Digital Receiver Module. Woxnail stated that they are working of the improved version of the radio system. And if everything goes right, we should get the new receiver and transmitter modules somewhere mid-2024. Then it would be possible for pilots to replace their receiver modules with the upgraded version. We don't know yet which features exactly will the new hardware bring, but there are speculation about increased range or increased bandwidth. Absolutely looks like it's worth to wait. Instead of getting new goggles, you buy only new transmitter modules and new receiver, replace the receiver and you are golden. Woxnail is thinking about their consumers. Instead of forcing them to buy new goggles next year, you might just want to buy a new receiver. That's Nice. Let's be honest, this is a much better policy than the main competition has. And you know what I'm talking about. And those are the new Woxnail Avatar Goggles X. As you can see, the new goggles have a pretty nice set of improvements. And let's be honest, the biggest improvement is the both analog and the HDMI input. The fact that you could not use the previous generation
generation of the Avatar goggles with anything else than the Wok Snail digital FPV system was a problem. Migration to Wok Snail not always was the best option. Because if you never wanted to convert every single of your UAVs into the Wok Snail, you were faced with the situation that you needed a two pairs of goggles. One for Wok Snail and one for analog or the DJI or HD Zero or anything else. New goggles solve this problem. You can connect anything you want. Okay, maybe not the DJI FPV system because this is a completely different story, but every other receiver can be connected to the Goggles X. Analog, HD0, absolutely not a problem. The only problem with that is that the Goggles have no mounting points for the external receivers. So someone will have to design some smart 3D printed adapter so you can put both the standard analog receivers as well as the HD01. With the current layout on the goggles it's for sure not impossible but most probably complicated. Maybe an external cover plate for the receiver bay, you know, something that has some mounting points. I'm waiting for someone to design something like that. Cadix, Wok Snail, make an accessory for that. It will be a banger. While we are on the topic of additional receivers, I do wonder what Cadix will figure out in terms of the upgraded receiver module. If they design the goggles in the way that you can replace the receiver module, something has to be coming. The next summer might be super interesting. Plus better antennas, better optics and other small usability improvements. And Believe it or not, there are two improvements I just love. First of all, they moved the SD card slot from here, which is the worst single place when one can have the SD card slot, into the normal position over here on the side. Easily accessible, easy to remove, easy to install. And second of all, I'm surprised that I even have to say it. Finally, you can put Goggles X into the original case without removing the antennas. Believe it or not, with the previous generation of the Wok Snail Goggles, you had to remove the antennas first. And that was one of the points I didn't like about the previous generation of the Goggles. With those, you just put it in the box, close the cover and you are done. But finally, are those a better goggles than the first generation of the walk snail? Yes, they are better. However, they are not probably so much better that you should migrate from the first generation into the goggles X. At least not yet. Let's wait until 2024 when Wok Snail is supposed to show the new receiver and the transmitter modules. If the new receivers will be something awesome, and I have a suspicion they might be, then yes, migration from the first generation of the Wok Snail to the second generation of the Wok Snail goggles might be a very good idea. However, those goggles solve completely different problem. If you were flying analog or DJI or HD0 and you were thinking about going into the walk snail, they are much better goggles than the previous one because of the HDMI and analog input. You don't have to convert each of your airplanes or drones into the walk snail at once or carry two sets of goggles. Been doing that for a while, never liked it. You can just use external receivers. I have a suspicion it might lure in some of the pilots that were previously skeptical because exactly of this point. Bear in mind, I'm not covering the question, are those goggles better? than the DJI goggles too. And the reason for that is extremely simple. Both DJI and Wok Snail are completely different digital FPV systems. Both have some pros and both have some cons. So you just cannot compare only the goggles from one system with the goggles from the completely different one. You would have to compare whole systems. And this is the video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!